Let's pray the rosary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of God, the Father there she shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of our lasting Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and bring all souls into heaven, especially those most in need thy mercy. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
word of praise to the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Lord, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need in thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail 
Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And we also also to have this space for those who most want to thank us. Hail, Lord, 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 mercy, our life, our sickness, and our own. To thee do we cry, the highest children of evil. To thee do we set up our signs, mourning and weeping in his vow of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exiles shall pass the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus. O Glenn, O Allah, he calls you the Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, who is only the begotten Son, who is alive and death and resurrection, has purchased for us in the other words of eternal life. Grant me who sees thee, that when in the need of our peace, 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 of the most holy of us, who is the blessed Virgin Mary, we may be made to the good thing, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ Jesus. God the Father of heaven. God the Son and Demon of the world. God the Holy Spirit. Trinity, one God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, Holy Virgin of Virgins, Mother of Christ, Mother of Divine Grace, Mother Most Pure, Mother Most Chaste, Mother of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother and Violet. <coughs> Mother undefiled, Mother most amiable, Mother most admirable, Mother of good counsel, Mother of our Creator, Mother of our Savior, Virgin most prudent, Virgin most venerable, Virgin most renowned, Virgin most powerful, Virgin most merciful, Virgin most faithful. Hero of justice, <coughs> seed of wisdom, cause of our joy, spiritual vessel, 
vessel of honor, pray for us. singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. mystical rose, pray for us. tower of David, pray for us. tower of ivory, pray for us. house of gold, ark of the covenant, pray for us. gate of heaven, pray for us. morning star, pray for us. of the sick, refuge of sinners, comfort of the afflicted, help of Christians, queen of angels, queen of patriarchs, queen of apostles, queen of martyrs, queen of confessors, queen of virgins, queen of all saints, Queen conceived without original sin. Queen assumed into heaven. Queen of the most holy rosary. Queen of peace. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God. <coughs> Let us pray. Grant, we beg you, O Lord, that we, your servants, may enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enter into the joys of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The memory, remember our most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession, was left an angel, inspired by his confidence, I fly unto you, offer to the virgins, O my mother, to you I come, before you I stand, sinful and soft, O mother of the Lord, darling, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, you can answer me. Thank you. 
Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight here at St. Padre Pio Parish. Today's Mass is offered for the Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter and the Feast of Saints Philip and James, Apostles. The presider for Mass tonight is Father Tom Libera. Sponsors are Rufo Family. For the repose of the soul of Conchita Rufo, Flora Leyva. For the repose of the soul of Juana Betion on her death anniversary. For healing and recovery of Dr. Manuel Ilagan. We also would like to pray for our family, relatives, friends, and benefactors who are chronically ill. Mildred Mina, Sally Merced, Benjamin Lago, Diana Alare, Susan Brink, Cecil Garcia, Wen Cueto, Rhoda Enidio, Orly Bernardino, Johanna Benamira, Sue Tirol Pini, Rebecca Aligaro, Shannon Wilson, Rebecca Esconde Oblema, William Gabay, Ida Novales Santiago, Irma and Anthony Miravida, Elena Umani, Maribel Achansar, Dick Achansar, Mila Meneses, Amado Luz, Jerry Guarin, Crispin Leiva Jr., Carmelita Reyes, Erlinda Lago, Liwana Cruz, Apolonia Domingo, Dr. Manny Ilaga, Eli Sato, Pamela Eliorande, Myrna Garcia, I see Lim, Salvi Atsani, Catherine Go, Juanita Del Rosario, Eileen Westover, Carlito Castillo, 
and Cecil Lomboy. An announcement. In celebrating the fifth Sunday of Easter, May 6 and 7, during all Masses, we invite all of you to honor this year's group of first communicants and conferment from St. Hilary School and Religious Education Program by picking a name provided in the vestibule and at the side entrances of the church. We ask that you include them in your intentions and prayers this Easter season and throughout the year so they may continue to be spiritually nourished and continue to walk in the path of our Lord Jesus Christ. We invite all the first communicants and confirmants to join the entrance procession, the beginning of the Mass, at which she or he is attending. Let us pray that they will always live the faith with joy and sincerity and feel the amazing love of God every single day. These young people are the hope of our church. Thank you. Please stand. Sincerely of our sins, 
while you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the Father you love, O God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost pass us to the ground. Dear as Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dear us, Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. By praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present in this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us come for the sick and the dying. Give hope to the poor and the unemployed. Heal the brokenhearted. Walk in solidarity with the oppressed. Peace justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dear us, Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in You, we place ourselves under the mantle of Your maternal protection and confidently hope for Your compassion and intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual health, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, Son, pray for us. that we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over sin and death, Son, pray for us. that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Son, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord, as you will. That we may be meek and humble of heart, like your Son, Jesus. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. That we may pray daily with love and trust, and especially in moments of temptation. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. That 
we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. That we may care and protect God's creation. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Thank you. 
Good evening. Yes. We gather in the name of the Lord on this uh, feast of uh, two apostles, Philip and James. So all we reach our faith back to them as they struggle to find it in the Lord. And so following them, we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you. Amen. Again, we know we block out some of the message that the Lord gives us uh, about how we live and who He is, and so we pause and uh, ask the Lord's enlightenment. Lord, you prepare us to receive the gift of your Spirit, God's life within us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, when we struggle in faith, you still invite us to believe. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you enrich us with the Easter joy of your risen presence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to the people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles, Philip and James, grant us, through your prayers, a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Corinthians. I'm reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed you, as of first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins, in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, for some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Sam. Their message goes out for all the earth. Their message goes out to all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out for all the earth. Their word nor discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds 
and to the ends of the world, their message. The message goes out for all the earth. resurrection of the Lord and among those he specifically mentions is James the apostle early on he was specifically one of those who Jesus appeared to is that enough evidence for us do we, we still struggle as Philip does Lord uh, show me the father and that'll be enough 
Jesus says to Philip, who was one of the first uh, disciples, he was a disciple of John the Baptist first, and then discovered Jesus, even he, Jesus says, haven't you picked it up yet, who I am? So, they can't say that, or we could put down that Philip, or we could say, Lord, Philip is part of me. I've seen witnesses of people who have entered into prayer and have received an answer. Sometimes it was the strength to endure, but looks like a prayer that wasn't answered. Other times it is a story of testament that indeed God's Spirit flows through us. These two disciples, apostles, went on to witness to Christ even to the point of death in both cases. And uh, so we are encouraged by that. They maybe didn't always get it right. They asked the Lord questions that uh, Jesus' eyes probably were glazed because of it, but the Lord responds. The Lord doesn't want to let us go. Uh, let us pray that he sends more witnesses into our lives so that we can say, yes, Lord, I do believe. Lord, help us in our unbelief and be with us now in our petitions. For our response is, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. That our Pope and bishops may continue to proclaim the good news of Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That government officials may imitate the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the people in nations afflicted by poverty may be drawn to Jesus who became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick and those who find life hardened some may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families, especially Jose and Vivian Pahari, Gentle Cabrera, Ernesto Baguet, Marita Santos, Vicky Pineda, Purita Tabas, Remy Salazar, Bing Carmona, Jenny Nakpil, Riley Sotelo Cadiz, Rosario Cabrera Simangan, Lourdes Pacolina, Natividad Salve del Fin, Mary Anson Toledo, Erlita Villegas, Maribel Alcanzar, Dick Alcanzar, Angelita Alita, and Virgil Tubios. Let us pray to the Lord. That the faithful departed may raise up to eternal joy in heaven, especially Hill Preto, Mark Robin Pernell, Enriqueta Tapasin, Francisco Ardienza, Conchita Rupo, Juana Bethion, and for the poor souls in Purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for a special request for the healing and speedy recovery of Dr. Manuel Ilagan, let us pray to the Lord. For all the personal petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, continue to invade us with your risen presence and joy. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
We pray then, brothers and sisters, that these gifts be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father and Creator. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion, pure and undefiled, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead us in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, Jesus took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave it to the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, uh, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly confidence, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, your servants who have gone before us, mark with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Felicity, Perpetua, Lucy, Cecilia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. To whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your disciples everywhere, my peace I give you. My peace is with you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us uh, share that gift of Christ's peace and presence.
Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O oh Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that, contemplating you in your Son, together with the Apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through Him we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank you, our Father, for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love, to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your mother, to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through the novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all through the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We've gathered in this festival of faith. We go forth now in Christ's love and resurrection. Thanks be to God.